Hello and welcome to a very special edition of Sunday League to Legend, as Leyland Albion, our created club, my own youth team in the Sunday League, have reached the FA Vars final on Football Manager 21. Our opponents are the Yorkshire Amateurs, and it's a battle of the roses at Wembley. We are, however, not without problems. As we have lost top striker Connor Comer, he's been transferred elsewhere. You can sense the annoyance in my voice. And Tom Dawson, our other big forward, scoring goals for fun. He is out injured. So you will see Brad Weir starting up front alongside Connor Finlayson. He is a new signing, played pretty well. I think he scored 11 goals this season. Not all for ourselves, obviously but he is the uh, the man with the nod. He's got the shirt. Yorkshire Amateurs play in the English Northern Counties East Premier League. They are fifth in that division, and it is the same level as ourselves. So we've got a shot, but it's not a brilliant one. Uh, we will get on to our league performance uh, in the next video. Uh, that will come on Wednesday. Uh, as there's plenty to talk about as Connor Finlayson goes through and does not score. Oh, those are the kind of chances that Tom Dawson and Connor Coma, prior to his departure, were gobbling up for fun. In our last game, we actually rested all but two of our players uh, and gave everybody else a couple of days off. Here's Finlayson. He's through. Oh, he's wide. We can't be missing chances like that in the first few minutes, chaps. Just can't be doing with it. Because Yorkshire amateurs will come and they will score. Here we go. Into the box. And it's just wide. Oh, that's the danger. Yeah. Here we go again. Now it's through to Matheson, our goalkeeper. We're looking for a big goal kick here from him. That's the one. Through to Finlayson. What's Weir doing in the middle? Is he through? Oh, no, he's not. I don't think I can go with this. This is not even ten minutes in and we've missed three great chances. Oh, man. Marshall with the free kick. Oh, it's straight into his hands. And now this is where we're going to get caught on the counter. Oh, but we repel it slightly. Mm, still all the way through. Now Matheson. Go. Big kick, son. There you go. That's the one. It's Finlayson. He's through. And he misses again. The former AFC Blackpool forward not able to profit. Dean has picked up a booking for the amateurs. Marshall in. Oh, he's straight into the goalkeeper's hands. I should, while this is happening, run through our team sheet. But I know that as soon as I do, Yorkshire amateurs are going to score. It's Matheson in goal. Corral, Lawler, Lent and Santos. Now it's weird. Oh, he gets one saved as well. Uh, Ricardo Santos at left back because we've pretty much lost all left backs at the club. They've either left because they don't want to be here anymore because they weren't getting the game. And then the guy that was getting the game signed a contract elsewhere. Yeah, that's just how it goes. Carlo Russo is on the right wing. Heslop and Thornhill haven't really done that well this season, but they are in the middle of midfield. Marshall, as you've seen there, on the left wing. And then it's Finlayson. And Brad Weir on uh, striking duties. However, I expect to see Weir come off. We're having a player, I think he's called Lewis Salmon. Uh, when we lost a couple of players, I had to sign replacements and he was one. We've also got Harry Walker in reserve, I think. I may need to check that. I think we do. That's Corral with the throw in. Oh, it's cleared though, isn't it? And now here come the amateurs. Nice kit though. I have to say, white shirt, blue shorts, red socks. Russo here. He's in. Finlayson. And there's the goal. His 37th of the season. Great play by Connor Russo to set things up here. Heslop with the ball out to Corral. It's going to come forward to Russo. Look at the space. The full back there. Completely out of position. And then Finlayson gets ahead of his marker to just steer the ball home. Could I have another one of those, please, just to settle my nerves? I really want to win this trophy. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have admitted that. Forget that one. Don't really want to win it. Oh, if we win it, it's a bonus. 
as now Finlayson threw on goal again. And he's inside. Oh, he's wide. Connor, what are you doing to me? Since Connor Coma left, it was North Ferryby. Okay, there, I've said it now. It was North Ferryby who came in, offered him zero pounds a week, and he took the bait. He'd scored 80 odd goals for us. I thought he was going to be here forever. He was not here forever. He left. And he left a large Connor Coma shaped hole in my team. As a result, we had to turn to Dawson and Finlayson. To be fair, Dawson has been just as good this season. I'm telling myself that. He's about to overhaul him in the goal scoring states in the league. There's still a few games to play. Um, this is why in the next video we'll talk about the league uh, and we'll go through that because uh, we're still doing pretty well. We're still top uh, and uh, we are about to secure uh, promotion. As the amateurs shoot and it's wide as well. Disappointing for them. Uh, but yeah, Dawson playing pretty well up front as has Finlayson. Uh, those two have sort of taken over and just carried on the mantle of banging in the goals. So what we're going to do is head to the dressing room. That's what we're going to do. I've gone to pot. This is the FA Vars final. I've been so nervous about playing this game. I mean, these fans have been fantastic for us. They're the ones who really pay your wages. Go out and win the trophy for them. It doesn't work. I've done this before. Footballers do not care about fans. Okay. That's the one. Motivated. That's what we need. However, uh, what we are going to do is, just before we get underway, okay, we're not going to do that. We are going to make a change straight away, though. There we are. So, Brad Weir, yeah, he's coming off, and it is... Oh, is it Harry Walker or Lewis Salmon? It's Walker, isn't it? We're going with Walker. Salmon will get a moment later on. We'll bring off one of the wingers and move Walker around. But in the meantime, a bit of seniority. Although he's quite easy, he's still a young player, but he's played more games for us than anybody else at this stage. Santos through to Harry Walker, and he does well, but the goalkeeper tips it over. Go on, lad. Thornhill with the delivery. No goal. Heslop recycles, though. Good play. Ah, oh, it's a offside. Come on, Lino. It's still 1-0 to Leyland Albion. Santos throwing. Walker fires it forward. Hits the woodwork this time. How many shots have we pissed away? 12 with one goal to show for it, as Trierney, Trenery. Oh, and this is where we're vulnerable on the counter. Yorkshire amateurs coming forward, and they've got a good cross in. And it's an awful display by Matheson, our goalkeeper with chocolate wrists. Stewart with the big cross. It's going to come right to the back post. Fends off, who I assume is Corral. And look at that, Matheson should make the save. It's just above him. Tawai with the goal. And now it's time to worry. Yeah, oh yeah, now he wants Ricardo Santos to man mark him. Brilliant. Where were you five minutes ago? Jake Aran just been sacked. He can leave the technical area. Corral with the throw in. Russo now through to Finlayson. And it's gone in! That's the one effort that I didn't think was going to go in. And it has. His 38th of the season. His second of the game. Yes, thank you for the message from Mark Carlos Santos again. Oh, it just goes under the goalkeeper. He had no idea what was coming. 13 shots. Two goals to show for it now. As it's about time to welcome another striker. But both our wingers are playing pretty well. Heslop, however, is a disappointment. This has been the problem this season. Central defence and central midfield. So what we're going to do is Heslop is going to depart 
for uh, Salmon, who is going to be the beneficiary of some moving around. Harry Walker goes on to the right wing, Russo over to the left, Heslock comes off, on comes Salmon. We've also got Eddie in reserve, but he's not fully fit. So I'd rather bring on the young lad with a bit of enthusiasm and see what that can get us. There's a substitution taking place on the 64th minute. It all goes badly from here. It is my fault. Getting in front, I'll take the credit for that one, as it's another throwing situation from Corral. Now Walker's through. Oh, it's saved by the goalkeeper. And got lucky. The defence in there to clear the ball. I'm going to be told to take Lawler off, aren't I? Because I've just noticed that he has uh, his fitness has ducked down. But it's the amateurs on the ball. Dempsey. Good cut out there. Now Walker through. Oh, it's cut out the back though. The amateurs here don't foul him. Now it's behind the goal. That's fine. Right, let's make the change while it's still on the screen before we go into another highlight. Lola applauding the fans. He's actually played well since he arrived. He's older than we should normally go for. I think he's about 33. Uh, we do have a, uh, an edict from the board to get in young players. As the ball comes in. Oh, it's another goal. Adat Loy, the defender, on a booking. It's another header. Oh, it's just over the fingertips of Matheson. Do I blame him? Yeah. Brought in because Contacos, our goalkeeper from last season, just wasn't cutting the mustard at level 9. As Ricardo Santos now picks up a booking. That's the second member of our defensive core picking up a yellow ticket now. Salmon back to Santos. Here we go. Russo. Go on, son. And it's Finlayson with the hat trick. That's the one. That's what we needed. Three goals to two. Lancashire beating Yorkshire. Russo again with the assist. All on his own. Good cutback. And Finlayson crucially in front of his defender. If you get in front of your man, you've got a chance. It's now 82 minutes and you know what's going to happen. Anybody that's ever watched any of these videos, you know that by the time we get to 85 minutes, it is game, set and match. It's all over. Oh, there's a lot still happening though. The amateurs are still worrying us. They want the trophy just as much and they want to take this into extra time now. Look, it's all Yorkshire amateurs. We've got a free kick though. That'll break things up and we're, I've got the chance of a counter. Walker pointing the cross. Nope, nothing doing from that corner kick. And now's the time when we employ the dark arts. Defensive formation. One of our strikers, I think it's going to be Finlayson, isn't it? Uh, he's going to move back into an attacking midfield role. And we're just going to edit everybody else's position. If I could move. There we go. Move him central. So we're not going to play at the fence. We're not going to focus anywhere. We're going to go attacking with the narrow. Focus play through the middle. We are playing for set pieces, dribble less, be more disciplined, time wasting maximum, tempo down, passing directness will be more direct. Uh, in transition, we will counter press, slow the pace down, still distribute over, I think that was quite a good one. And then in possession, we are just going to uh, engage at a much lower, or just a lower, a lower line of engagement. Pressing intensity, and you know what? Get stuck in. Force the opposition outside, that's fine. Mm, then again, I don't like our defence. Let's leave it as, yeah, force opposition outside. There we go. So that is how to close out a game, hopefully. Defensive setting, the boys just need to remember not to uh, not to concede, that'd be good. 
as there's five minutes to play. Oh, just wide of the post. Four minutes of extra time and you are about to see the trophy graphic. Yorkshire Amateurs with the uh, attack though. Is Santos about to get sent off? Oh, he's getting sent off. Okay. No, pause the game. Thank you. That's what I need. So with two and a bit minutes. Right, okay. Thornhill is being dropped back. First we're going to swap him for Finlayson to move into midfield. And then he's going to serve at left back. In fact, is it Marshall that can play on the left? I'm fairly sure it is. Left foot, yes. Thank you, Marshall. You are going down there. Finlayson uh, in midfield. Lewis Salmon stays up front. Right, we just need to see out these seconds here. This has been a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. As here we are. Right, we're over extra time now. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle. Big ball over the top. Not doing anything. All oh, the amateurs are there. Now Russo's got it. It's into their goalkeeper. This has got to be it. We're 30 seconds over. Ref, it's all over. Leyland Albion are collecting the FA Vars in only our second season since we created the team. All respect to uh, Atherton, whose uh, place we took. We are FA Vars champions. The build base FA Vars will sit in the Leyland Albion Museum. And there you have it. Charlie there in his blue National League issue tracksuit that you probably stole from another ground. And there we have it. We are FA Vars champions. And there's a little bit of a cartwheel from the goalkeeper. Thank God he didn't do that during the game. At Wembley, as you can see, in front of seemingly no fans. Uh, don't worry about that. It's very current, you know, considering the uh, current ongoing pandemic. And there we have it. You have witnessed Leyland Albion, a created team, my old Sunday league outfit, and uh, my youth playing days. They have won the build base FA Vars at Wembley. In our next edition on Wednesday, it's time to get back and think about the Northwest Counties Premier Division, our league. It's all going very well. We should, by that point, have won the league. In which case, it will be our last game at level 9, and then we will move on next season to level 8. I'm still hoping for the moment when we can sign players for money, because otherwise we are going to keep losing them. Not only did we lose Connor Coma to North Ferryby, but Wilding, the left back, uh, has left as well. And with Tom Dawson getting injured, uh, we were down to the bare bones because Balde re requested his release, uh, as did Jamie Forbes, who's uh, right back. Uh, he wanted out as well. Uh, we'd also uh, given the left back, I think it was Murphy, uh, he'd been released at his request because he wasn't playing. So it was quite a difficult time uh, for us just to navigate through the leagues. Uh, we dropped a lot of points in draws, I'd say. Um, but only one, only once we'd hit in top spot uh, and that sort of kept us going, kept us ticking over uh, and now we have quite a handsome advantage. So do join me on Wednesday when we will go through uh, everything that's happened in the league. It was going to be the new mills this episode, um, if you heard that from the previous, um, in the previous episode. At the end I did say um, it was going to be um, the new mills because they were the team that knocked us out of the Northwest Counties Cup earlier in the season. However, um, when this FA Vars game came up, it just had to be this one um, that uh, we featured. So thank you for joining me today. FA Vars champions and Leyland Albion.
I'll see you on Wednesday.